when I left Chelsea to go to Southampton, I came back playing for Southampton against Chelsea in the first season I was so it was only a matter of months before I came back as a Southampton player and I got off the Southampton coach and there were loads of lovely Chelsea fans sort of saying, Oh will you sign this, we sign I'm going along the line signing this and there was a boy, a young boy holding a board and I sort of automatically sort of went to sign it and he sort of held it back and he looked at me like that and he went, Didn't you used to be Graham Lasso? <laughs> You can't come back from that. And I was you? like, yeah, you're right, I did used to be great. In his, in his, in his eyes, I wasn't, yeah, exactly. I nearly, that's when I, I wrote a book and I nearly had that as the title. Jesus didn't used to be great. So. <laughs> but it's you, just so funny. What did you say? No, I was just, yeah, yeah, I went, you're right, yeah, because to him, I, I did used I was, to be. And he wasn't being rude. No, it was no, just, no, in his no, world, no. I'd moved yeah. from one club to another. Yeah, yeah. He was only young, so just didn't used to be great. So, yeah, yeah. So, do you get recognised everywhere you go? It's surprising, given that I retired 14 years ago from football that people still recognise me as much as they did, did sometimes you, more. Did you think about that when you were playing? Yeah. So to get a guy that's come up and said thank you so much for what you did for us. It's amazing. Did you no, think I about didn't, that when you were playing? No, was no, was that like you, a goal or not? No, it's more the sort of the, the celebrity bit of it is a result of doing well. So I, I didn't want to be a footballer because I wanted to be famous. I, pl- I became known because I played football and got to the level I did. And I think that's what makes me realise that once you've reached a... I was privileged enough to reach a level where even 15 years after I stopped, people still recognise me because you know I played in big games for big clubs, Great. won stuff, played for the national team, played in World Cup. Yeah. And then you've what, What's the highlight of the, of the, of the whole career? Title. Premier yeah, League. I think yeah, the Premier League at Blackburn. Coming back here was massive because we yeah. won, we won League Cup, Cup Winners Cup, Super Cup, FA Cup. That was you when know, Di Matteo qualified. Scored yeah, I, yeah, that was. Seconds, that was it? I came after that. Oh, did you? Yeah, I, I came that se- the end of that or the beginning of the next season. So it was when um, we beat. Uh, did we meet? Beat. Villa. Villa. That's it. Villa. Nineteen ninety seven. Yeah. So. Um, so I, I yeah so so to win you know to, to so so I suppose the pinnacle I mean playing for your country you know kid from Jersey playing for England no one else in the whole Channel Island history played for Jersey Nuts when you well, yeah it? when you came in as a young player playing you know for England yeah. and it was the first time I'd ever played at Wembley it was How the old, old Wembley um, twenty four twenty five probably so I wasn't young young but you know if you've never played at Wembley before and you're suddenly rocking up and the first time you're playing is for England. In a game against Denmark for Terry Venables, his first game in charge. Yeah, Again, it was fucking loud drop as well. Yeah, yeah, it was Mark and Brian loud drop. Yeah. Denmark were brilliant. Brian loud played for us for a little bit. Didn't yeah, he? yeah, he did. Yeah, he came later on. We didn't see the best of him in charge. <laughs> no, he was fucking useful. But, 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 but playing for end. playing for and also I was playing for Jersey as well. Do you know what I mean? It wasn't. Yeah, yeah. I was representing Jersey were that you? night. Well, in the sense that. Oh, okay. You know, that was that was everything I. Were, well, everyone that had been part of that journey, when you're playing for the national team, you, you have a moment where you go, oh my word, this is like the pinnacle. Of, yeah. Who's the best you've played against? I'm sure you get that. Probably Zidane. Quite. Zidane? I mean, I played against them all. Zidane, Henri, um, both hero, Ronaldo's. Was that, was that 98 you played against? Yeah, yeah. Le, Le Tournoir? Tournoir, 97, the Tournoir. 97, yeah, yeah, Zidane okay. played in that. I mean, there were so many good players. Yeah, sure. Who, so who many would be a hero, though, like football-wise? Well, when I was growing up, uh, people like Kenny Dalglish was my, one of my big heroes. I played, I played for Kenny at, at Blackburn. He was signing me, so I had to go in to sign the contract. And I kept looking. Yeah. At, yeah. You know, Look, I'm going to sign this. Can you sign it? <laughs> I mean, it was so unprofessional. That's who won the, and we won the Premier League, league yeah, with Kenny. So he was my hero um, in many ways. But I loved football. So John Robertson at Nottingham Forest, who was a left winger, who was brilliant. So whenever I played, if you ever watch any video of me, I always had white tape around my did, shin yeah. pad, and that yeah. was John Robertson. Okay. So that because was, he, he used to do that yeah, in the seven, in late seventies for Nottingham Forest, and um, but I, I was just obsessed with football, so I'd watch any football I could watch, and football obviously wasn't on the TV so much. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I used to watch any game. I could, occasionally we got French TV on a, at someone's house. It would, like, on their area would pick it up, so I'd watch a bit of French football, Saint Etienne and Michel Platini and the World Cup. I mean, my word, seventy eight World Cup was the first one I remember, which was in Argentina. And, you and still I would literally parts. watch. You every still, you still like that. You still have the same passion. Yeah, I still work in football, so I, I just love it as a game. I think it is. It's it's a it's such an amazing sport. Football, it's like no other. So I don't like in it when way, people. In what ways? Well, I just think it. I just think it's like there's a, there's a flow to it. It's almost like a like a dance and chess and art and science all mixed together. And it's so unpredictable in many ways because often, like today, Chelsea, all the stats would have been. A, 
full on mm. for Chelsea, but actually they could have quite easily drawn that game nil nil nil. It's a different, and it's for in a different way because obviously you can't play now, so there's no good pretending that you can still play. But it's still being involved in the game and earning a living from the game, whether it's my commentary or the work that I do with the FA or Mallorca or whatever. It's um, <clears throat> and it's a privilege, it's like, isn't it? Isn't it? I mean, you had a, had a ball under my arm from the age of three, and I've still got a ball under my arm now, really. Imagine how many people wanted it. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the thing, isn't it? Mm. And is, is it just football, or is it kind of like sport in general? I play a lot of tennis. I love my tennis, on the, and the rationale is that I can only ever get better at tennis because I'm not that good, and I can only ever get worse at football because I've definitely peaked. So that's my mentality. Favorite tennis player? Um, oh, so difficult because I know you look, you look I, like a Federer man. Yeah, well, I've met him, met him a couple of times, and I'd he's just incredible, him. incredibly. Awesome, yeah, yeah, I'd he's, love, he's, love he's, he's nice everything you could imagine. He he could be very calm and just. You know, just oozes charisma such and, and a, such a. Where did you meet him? He's amazing. Uh, at Wimbledon, at Wimbledon. Okay. So and then, just, and then and then I've spent there. I've spent a couple of t- uh, lunches with Rafa Nadal as well. Okay. He came with my work at Mallorca because he's from Mallorca as well. He's a hero so, in Spain, and he's amazing because his. It's funny. His image is a bit more like you know grit and yeah, like yeah. aggression, <laughs> but he is the nicest guy you can meet. Is he? Honestly, he is incredible. Hard working, humble. Just val- the most amazing values. He, I'd heard loads of good things about him, so I was going to, when I first met him. I thought I'm going to really like him, and I came away blown away. He was like so much more. Yeah. And then Andy Murray, I, I know Andy well, and and he's an incredible guy as well. But but Andy's Andy's great because when you again when you see the real people, the, the actual and the work that they put in, and the it, it's 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 great when you see that they've got those values that yeah. you know, that we share and that they're not. You know, to be successful and still have that humility and that work ethic and Agreed. keep wanting more to be more successful.